you guys do it at a dime here, so welcome to Owen's Nursery. So this nursery was definitely done on a budget, so let me take you through and show you what we did. Because this is our second little boy, we already had the crib, that was awesome, and we went and got the baby bedding from babybedding.com. I waited for a coupon code for 20% off, plus everything was already an additional 20% off, so I got a really good deal on it. Do not spend money for a crib skirt. Go for really cheap, neutral sheets, and I actually made this crib skirt using a no-sew method. It's so easy. I spent $7 on the fabric, and then I just used heat bond tape to iron over the Edges, so it gives a really clean seam and then I just used velcro to attach it to the inside of the crib so these are just different panels there's one here and there's one over here and there's no panel on the other side because who's gonna see it and I'm lazy I also did not want to spend the money for a mobile and this is so easy to do all this is is scrapbook paper thread and a little bit of Mod Podge so I just used a hole punch to cut out these circles and I glued two circles to the thread and then I hung them to this cross stitch form that's what I've always called it. And then I just use yarn to tie around it and attach it using a little hook to the ceiling. So this took me all of like 30 minutes to complete and it cost me less than $10. Definitely, if you're going to do the letters above the crib, do not get them from the big box baby stores. They're so expensive. Just go to your local craft store to pick them up. And what you want to do so these don't wiggle on the wall is nail them in and then put a little bit of sticky putty or sticky tap at the bottom of the letters so they stay really stationary and they're not going to move. So right next to the crib, I have this little nursing area. This table was thrifted, it was just $6. Inside, I lined it with Dollar Tree drawer liner. So I have this little galvanized tin. I got this from the dollar section at Target for burp cloths. Don't spend money on those pretty burp cloths. You get pre-fold inserts that normally go into cloth diapers. These make incredible burp cloths. That's all we use, basically. Over here, I have just some old frames that I used, and these, you guys, are ceiling medallions. That's a great way to have kind of a cool-looking frame, and you don't have to spend a lot of money doing it. And all of these pictures are straight from a very hungry caterpillar book. You could use an old vintage one or just photocopy the book pages. I've never had a changing table. I love just putting it on top of a dresser. If you are a new mom and this is your first little guy or girl, I would highly recommend these. These are changing pad liners and that way you can change the baby and you don't have to change this pad so many times. At the very top of this shelf, this is a great way to maximize storage in a tiny room if you're running really short on space. This is kind of like my have to tackle drawer. We all have one of these. Down here in this second drawer, I've just got some extra onesies. I also keep extra muslin blankets in these drawers. Also changing pads and bibs. Another great thing to keep in dresser drawers are extra diapers. And this was the main thing that we actually had to spend money on this time. So this I actually found at Costco. What I loved about it, it's really high quality and it came with all of the bins already. You can take them to another spot of the house and then kind of have your own toy rotation system, right? So the little toys that are in here, you play with this downstairs, you bring it back up at the end of the night and then you know, a week later, you work out of a different bin. So you're rotating out toys, you're keeping your baby engaged, but it also stays really organized in the nursery. So this over here is the closet and I actually already did a whole video where I walked you guys through how I organize everything and how we completely redid this system on a budget. So I'm going to link that on the screen for you. I really hope that this video was helpful and I can't wait for you guys to meet baby Owen. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!